Hi YouTube, I'm making a video today about how to make the perfect martini. And uh, there's a lot of contention on how to make this drink. It's very much a classic drink. Uh, you know, James Bond drinks them. It's kind of a high class type drink. You see them on Mad Men, that sort of thing. Um, but there are many different ways that people make it. But those are not all martinis, okay? So today I'm going to tell you how to make a perfect original martini. First things first, the main ingredient in this is not vodka, okay? James Bond does not order a perfect martini, nor is it shaken. Most martinis, uh, I won't say most martinis, but if you want to make a good martini, you need to have a stirred martini. The reason being that uh, if you uh, shake a martini, you get ice chips in it, you get a bruised drink, you get a drink that's very cloudy and very murky and not at all appealing to the eye or to the palate. Uh, it's also going to take quite a bit watered down. So uh, This is a drink that has very few um, ingredients, but it can still be messed up. So the first ingredient in a martini is gin. I have here a, 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 a bottom shelf bargain gin that is not great, but the price is right. Uh, Gordon's is, is a classic gin to use in this martini in a martini, pardon me. Uh, Bombay Sapphire is also good. Beef Eater is good. Uh, Seagram's is also good. Uh, it's still not too expensive. So uh, look into those. I, I actually advise it. I've had them with better gins, but this is what I had available today. So the first ingredient is gin. The next ingredient is dry vermouth. Okay? Uh, you can. There are many different brands. This is actually the Martini brand. And uh, it comes in a cool green bottle. But that is the second uh, ingredient. The third ingredient is olives. Uh, I like them stuffed. Okay, this ones are stuffed with pimento, which is like a little uh, red chili type thing, and they're uh, rather good, kind of salty. It, it definitely gives the extra flavor to the martini that makes it a signature uh, drink. You can use one olive or three olives, uh, never two. The the uh, way to make it in you know bartender's bible is you must use odd odd number of olives and I guess you can put five in there or seven but you just get kind of ridiculous it just become a snack then so three olives or one I prefer more it's proper glassware this is a proper martini glass it's actually a a larger martini glass than the classic martini glass so it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be full when I make it I guess made this may be a double martini glass you know for two drinks in one glass or thing but you need the proper glass so uh, I'm going to take this, before I make the drink, I'm going to set it aside in the freezer and uh, put a little ice in it so so that it gets nice and chilled. And I'll show you how it looks afterwards. I need a shaker. These are the two different types of shakers. Um, I, I don't know the different names of shakers, but one is a type that uses a strainer that is built in. Uh, that would be the one on the right. And the other is a left. You use a, a stir for stirring drinks or for it's a glass you stick on there and toss the drink. But today we're going to stir a drink, so we're going to use the one on the left. What are the rest of the tools that you use for making a martini? The one on the left is a stir stick. This is something I didn't originally have with this uh, cocktail shaker set, but it is invaluable. It helps you stir things. It's, it's longer than a normal straw or anything. And it uh, just makes sure you don't break off any ice and bruise the drink. The second is a jigger. I don't always use that because I have speed pours in some of my bottles. But a jigger is just to make sure that you have accurate measurements. Um, and we'll talk about the measurements once we get into mixing the drink. Okay, the one on the right, the thing on the right is a strainer as well, so you don't get ice in your drink. And you use all three of these together to uh, mix your drink. So you want to get to put five or six ice cubes, uh, if they're not too big ice cubes in your tin, and uh, get your instruments together ready. Your ingredients together, you have your olives, green olives, a pimento or without, uh, skewered through with a toothpick, uh, your dry vermouth, and your gin. Uh, the amounts we're going to take, we're going to have the ice, we're going to first of all pour an ounce and a half of gin in there, which is the large side of your jigger if you have one. Uh, on a speed pour, it's about three count. And then a half ounce is the prescribed amount of gin. Um, I'm sorry, pres prescribed amount of dry vermouth. Now if you want to make a dry martini, uh, you basically, there's a couple different ways to make a dry martini. Uh, and dry martini is basically you either take the ice that you would cool, uh, take, take the ice in the tin, pour your vermouth in there, and then pour it out before you put the gin in. So it's just barely there. 
uh, or just put a little teeny bit in. So, and, and a wet martini would be, of course, put an ounce instead of a half ounce, which would be really wet. Um, for your ingredients in, you want to take your stir stick and grab the base and just stir, stir it for about 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, probably not a minute, just 30 seconds probably do, just so you get nice con condensation on the tin and a good cool drink. Took and put in the freezer. All right, so it's been sitting there for a couple minutes now. Take it out, and it's going to have a nice uh, frosty glass look to it, and it's going to look visually appealing as well as serve to keep your drink cool, uh, especially when you're not shaking a drink. If you're stirring the drink, it helps to keep it cool and cool it down without having to uh, get ice chips in your drink and make the drink murky. Next thing you want to do is take your uh, strainer, put it on top of the tin, and go ahead and pour your drink into the glass. And uh, you can see that in the couple pictures there. And then once you pour your drink into the glass, the ice is gonna, the frost is gonna begin to come off a little bit at the top, but that's perfectly okay. That's what you want. It means your drink is cool. Uh, it may indicate that you may want to stir your drink a bit more if it's not that cool enough, or leave the tin in more. But uh, I don't like water drowned drinks, which is what can happen if you leave it in there. So stick your olives in there, and that is how to make a perfect martini.